Hi everyone, in this video you are going to learn about the behavior of high pass RC circuit with exponential input. In the previous videos we have seen the high pass RC circuit behavior with several inputs like uh, sine wave input, step input, pulse input and then we have seen with the square wave input and as well as with the ramp input. Now this exponential input where V in is equal to V of 1 minus e power minus t by RC with this signal as input signal we are giving it to the high pass RC circuit. We know the high pass RC circuit construction capacitor followed by resistor. The output voltage we are taking across the resistor and this is the input voltage. Now when this type of input voltage is an exponential signal applied to this circuit, the output voltage we are writing it as here see every time we are changing the output calculation of the output voltage equation in is in different different ways so here the input applied is v i of t is equal to what is the expression v into 1 minus e power minus t by rc I told you already in the previous videos when exponential signal is increasing signal then this is the expression V into 1 minus e power minus t by RC. But if the exponential signal is a decreasing signal then it is V into e power minus t by RC. 1 minus is not there. Okay. For the exponential signal which is an increasing signal then it is V i of t is equal to V into 1 minus e power minus t by RC. Remember that. Okay. And the output voltage across resistor we are taking the output voltage across resistor in the high pass RC circuit so that's why it is VR of T we can write it as VR of T or V naught of T that is equal to VI of T minus VC of T okay See the total input voltage is equal to the voltage across capacitor plus voltage across resistor. So just simply by rewriting the same equation V R of T is equal to V I minus V C of T. Now we know what is V I of T from this equation and now V C of T or V naught of T uh, here V naught of T R is equal to V R of T both are same that we can write it as V into 1 minus e power minus x by 1 minus n plus n by 1 minus n e power minus x by n. Okay, this we have calculated in the low pass RC circuit. Okay whatever we have calculated in the case of low pass RC circuit across the output here also we are taking the same response okay now substitute this input voltage and this output voltage in this equation therefore uh, here sorry we can write it as output voltage across capacitor you can if you better understand if I write like this mm. see here it is v naught of t we can write it as v c of t voltage across capacitor for low pass rc circuit low pass rc network then you can understand see here in the low pass rc network the output voltage is across capacitor so V naught of T is equal to VC of T is equal to this one we have calculated in the case of low pass RC circuit when the input signal is an exponential signal. Hope you remember. Okay, if you have not seen that once go back and see that video. This is the output voltage expression we have calculated there in the low pass RC circuit. Now we have taken the same voltage equation because now also the capacitor is excited with the input exponential signal. That's why we have taken this one. That's why now V R of T is equal to so from equation 1 take it as equation 1 
So, from equation 1, vi of t is nothing but v into 1 minus e power minus t by rc minus vc of t is nothing but this one. 1 minus e power minus x by 1 minus n plus n by 1 minus n e power minus x by n. Okay. So, if you just simplify this v into 1 minus e power minus we are taking this as x minus v into 1 minus e power minus x by 1 minus n plus n by 1 minus n e power minus x by n. So, that is equal to v into So, just we have multiplied this v inside v minus v into e power minus x minus, okay, multiply this, then you can understand. Then after that, separate this v, e power minus x by 1 minus n minus e power minus x that is for plus v and minus v into e n into e power minus x by n divided by 1 minus n. Okay. So, that is equal to v into e power minus x take this e power minus x as common 1 by 1 minus n minus 1 minus this is uh, let us take v common from this one also then n into e power minus x by n by 1 minus n okay now that is equal to simply take lcm 1 minus 1 plus n by 1 minus n what happens here yeah 1 1 cancel and uh, it is 1 by 1 minus n say so, it is n by 1 minus n and now if you rewrite this equation n by n minus 1 into e power minus x by n minus e power minus x that is for n not equal to 1. Okay. Suppose if n is equal to 1, this is v naught of t. If n is equal to 1, v naught of t or v r of t, both are same. v r of t or v naught of t that is equal to v into x into e power minus x. This is for n is equal to 1. Okay. So, if this time constant for the circuit of high pass RC circuit is very very high, then n is also high and the second term of this equation simply what happens for n equal to not is equal to 1 the second term can be easily neglected because the value of time constant is very very high okay i will write here if the time constant If the time constant of the circuit, nothing but RC, is very high, is very high, then what happens? The second term, the second term for n not is equal to 1. Remember, we are calculating the equation of the output voltage when n is not equal to 1 because the uh, value is already decreased here in the n is equal to 1 case. Okay, No need to worry about this n equal to 1. When n is not equal to 1, then we are simplifying the equation by taking the high value of time constant. Okay, The second term is simply, simply neglected. So, then what happens? v naught of t is equal to 
V into N by N minus 1 E power minus X by N E power minus X by N You can also write it as V into E power minus T by RC Simply we can write it as E into V into E power minus T by RC as V naught of T Okay Now what happens when the capacitance and resistance product RC is less than less than the input signal period and it is more compared to the input signal period see in the first slide I have shown you see the product the RC product here n is nothing but <coughs> we have assumed n as an RC product if the n value is is equal to 0 0.1 n value is 0 0.1 and n is equal to 1, n is equal to 100, n is equal to 10. So, as the value of n increases, the exponential output is approaching the input signal. As the value of n increases, n increases like this, as the value of n increases, the exponential output signal is approaching the input signal. If the value is low, then it is going down and towards moving to the 0. Okay, so if the product time constant value is very very high, we are making the output voltage equation, output to expression towards the input exponential signal. Okay, so the, that means the equation whatever we have calculated here, the equation agrees with the way that the circuit should behave the ideal step input voltage ideal step input voltage okay the response of this high pass rc circuit is different and it is approaching the input signal period okay so as the value of n increases as the value of n increases the output signal shape approaches the approaches the input signal shape <coughs> okay this is about the behavior of high pass rc circuit when it is applied with a exponential signal thank you